Jupiter Media presents Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination India Television Show. We are continuously telecasting the fresh episodes regarding study in India, education program, international students experience and the quality of education. So to provide you the fresh information about study opportunities in Delhi and SRM University, we have very special guest from university side who is none other than Vikas Bajaj. He is looking after the coordinator and the admissions and outreach and development of international affairs. Let's welcome him to the show. Vikas sir, you're welcome on our show. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. We are quite happy to having you in this platform so that we can talk about the study opportunities in India. First of all, would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time? Absolutely. So the last time I visited Nepal, it was in this COVID era. And unfortunately, I could not come up thereafter. Uh, been very lucky again, indeed, to come to this you know land which feels like home. Um, so this is my visit. It's been now the fourth day. I've uh, been meeting a lot of students and enriching experiences with them, uh, looking forward to their expectations. And I think uh, we are honestly doing our work and you know guiding the students to choose the best education destination in India. Okay, especially talking about the SRM University, it's a really popular brand set in different states of India. So what are the unique features inside the Delhi Sonipat? Okay, so we are primarily four universities all across India and 24 institutions. So the one specialty about Sonipat is actually, it's not one specialty, there are so many specialties. One is its uh, strategic location, you know, once the student studies from SRM. Uh, the student has the opportunity to go for job market, which is like Great Noida, Greater Noida, Gurgaon, which are very nearby uh, to the vicinity. So we get really good, you know, offer letter and placements and company vi do visit us to the uh, campus. So this is one USP that it is NCR region, uh, you know, very easy for the student to reach uh, to the campus. And of course, there are certainly more features and more, uh, you know, uh, feathers to the cap to the university, which we'll be discussing. Yes, yeah, sure. Especially talking about the like um, uh, quality of education, how you assure that SRM University is delivering global standard education. So it's not an unknown fact. Uh, SRM University is known for its affordable and high quality education. One. And primarily, if you talk about my engineering technology program, it stands 28 in the country. So way above some of the IITs and NITs. And I'm talking about NERF ranking here. Uh, so it's a government ranking framework. So uh, of course, I mean, there are other programs as well. And we are an interdisciplinary university wherein we have other programs as well. Like we have science and humanities, we have law, we have commerce and management, then we have finance. Uh, and then, of course, uh, engineering technology is the one which, you know, Okay, so talking about the teaching pedagogy and the uh, like uh, education system inside the university and outside the like university in industry, their like internship and so on things. How you think that uh, SRM is shaping the career of students? Okay, there are two to three major things uh, what we do at SRM. One is choice based credit system. Now, what is this choice based credit system? It primarily, I mean, if you're looking for a program in law or maybe computer science engineering, you have an option to entirely go for an additional module in any of the other specific branches. Like for say, if you've taken um, you know, BTEC in cyber security, you can go to the law department and study one entire module of law, maybe in cyber security or something. So there you'll be learning more about coding. Here you'll be learning more about you know, uh, law practices which are being followed. Uh, second, we, we have 60% of the curriculum is actually industry-based, project-based. So 40% is the classroom, 60% is your exposures, right? Uh, this is what we follow. And third, uh, we always talk about, you know, uh, bridging the gap between the academia and the industry. And here at SRM, we have actually done uh, that. We have taken a step forward. And we have collaborated and associated with the industries. So when I talk about industry, I talk about IBM, International Business Machine, more than 100-year-old company. I talk about Zibia. Zibia are many, uh, you know, uh, they make software for uh, fortune companies like Boeing. 
then I'll talk about TCS. T TCS is a you know, a familiar name to all of us, startup consultancy services. So we are running our program in association with these industries. So we make our students actually industry ready. So, so they're ready for the job market. Okay, especially talking about the international students experience there in uh, Sarim University, uh, how they are like uh, thriving their life uh, inside the university study and their like experience. So international student, we treat like our own domestic student. So primarily, if you'll see, you will find different hostel for international student and different for domestic. And that uh, we don't sense it as a purpose. You know, what is the purpose of getting international student? Because you have to have that holistic uh, living. You know, you, you you learn from other cultures as well. So one thing is that we have one hostel. We we celebrate all kind of festivals because of that. Even we have students from Africa, so we celebrate Africa Day as well and things like that. So we make no difference, yes, but when it comes to food, we understand international students do have certain requirements. So we cater to those requirements most certainly. And uh, in fact, if, I mean, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I was here in the COVID era. Um, you know, in the COVID in India, everything was locked down. And of course, uh, international students were the one who suffered because they could not travel back to their country. So the Department of International Affairs, along with, of course, the domestic staff, ensured that each and every student live at the university where nobody was seeing anyone. We had all these staff or all these minimum, you know, international student making food for them and, you know, uh, if they were tested positive, taking care of them. So this is how we make a difference at SRM University, right? We treat these children as our own, not only domestic children, I would say, but as our own children. Okay. So especially, uh, we are continuously telecasting the first episode regarding um, study in India, like um, uh, specific course, research development, and students and parents are asking different questions like, financial aid and the scholarship as well. So what sort of the scholarship and financial ads are there for the deserving students? Okay, so we have one which is very favorite amongst the students. We, we don't believe in need-based, so we have the merit-based scholarships with us. So now these merit-based scholarships are basically depends on the merit of the student, as I mentioned, and it depends on the percentage of the student, whatever, however they have performed in their examination. So our scholarship starts from 10% goes up to 100%. And indeed, I can show you numerous students at my university who have studied just for free for their entire dura duration of the program. So yes, we have these, but these scholarships are not awarded like uh, we, we need many students. We need less students, but good number of students. And hence, we are very, you know, uh, inclusive of giving the scholarship to the students. So it's based on case-to-case -case basis. The student can share their merits with us, and whatever scholarship, maximum scholarship, rather, would can offer the, to the student, we do that. Okay, so especially eSport is promoting uh, SRM University uh, here in local market. What is your working experience with them? Okay, I am I'm very glad that I got association with eSport because as I primarily been into this market twice as well, uh, I look at the, the transparent system of working, which I closely think is similar to what, you know, SRM has it in, in, in its vein. So it feels like, you know, you're standing in front of a mirror. You're looking to, some, uh, to somebody who's similar to you, his ethics, his practices. And Mr. Sarkar, I have met him and the other promoters as well. And they have been very, 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 you know, generously kind and very intelligent people to work for. And again, very honest. And that is what is very important, you know, while working with others. Okay, great. So we are at the end of this session. So what is your final message to the prospective Nepalese students and parents, those who are trying to get best university in India? So, yeah, I mean, those who have already planned to travel to India for their education, of course, they are certainly not only SRM, there are more universities as well, uh, you know. Uh, first thing is I'm very happy that they made a, you know, step that they want to go abroad and study. So because education I consider is not mugging up books and writing up exams. It is more about meeting people, going out, you know, and understanding yourself, understanding others, their culture, their geographical locations and things like that. And most certainly at SRM because we give a lot of exposure to the student. Uh, I understand there's a shortage of time, otherwise I have the entire day where I can speak about my university. Uh, I most certainly welcome the student uh, to come to SRM, enjoy the campus life, uh, enjoy their education, right, and get the best exposure and get placed in the right company. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you so much for having me.